All right, everyone. I pulled out the hair the best I could, as even as I could. I used two different size needles. They're like crocheting needles, that's what they are. I use a thick one, pretty much for like the sides and the back, and I use the more thin one, the smaller one, on top. This is a lot of hair pulled out. I haven't done this in a long time. When I was much younger, I used to be very bleachy blonde, and I'm slowly going to go back to that. So I have the 30 peroxide, this is what I had left, and I didn't realize I had so much, um, bleach left and I said I'm doing it and I had one cat and soon I'll stock up that I have it in the house for you know you buy your color you buy your caps all at once so you have it on you have it in stock when you need it this is a L'Oreal Super Oreal Blanc professional powder bleach quick controlled lightning action lifts set up to seven levels up to seven levels. I'll show you after I put it on how it, how it is. I also use my three-way mirror to pull out the strands as evenly as possible because you don't see the missing gaps. I really took the time to move the hair around. Where did I miss? Where did I miss? And you do. So that this little mirror really helped me. And now I'm going to put the, put the bleach in my hair, and then I'm going to cover it with a saran wrap. So I don't want the bleach to dry. I want the bleach to stay wet so it can lift up to seven levels. Let's do this. Here is the mixture. I have just enough to cover my head. So I'll be spreading it out. I did pour peroxide in first and then I poured the powder in and I slowly mixed it in and I added a little peroxide as I went on to create this paste this yeah this thickness consistency this is something very important to share with you I won't do this next time I probably won't do this because I'm doing it to myself when you do this to yourself you're overlapping all your hair strands. And I would think that's not very good for your hair to constantly overlap hair that's already colored. See, when you go to a salon and you get this kind of stuff done, well, they probably still do it like this sometimes, but they take the comb and go like that. They're only bleaching the growth area. So then it looks really beautiful and maybe they paint some stripes and they don't go overkill. It would be very hard for me to go, well, I don't want to overlap. I'm going to do this again six weeks from now, five weeks from now. I'm not going to do that. What am I going to do? I'm going to take my colors and I'm going to go a shade lighter. I'm going to stick with the dark beige blonde, which is a dark blonde. And I was mixing it with a mocha blonde. Mocha Blonde's very dark in this brand. This is satin, this brand. It's like a dark brown, it really is. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to go a shade below dark beige blonde. I'm probably going to mix dark beige blonde with beige blonde or light beige blonde. I have to see what the levels they have that are lighter. I hope you understand what I'm saying. And I will just do the roots. I put gloves on when I put color in my hair. I know my at my scalp itches a little bit, but I'm used to it. I make sure I have a comb. I go like that, but I don't comb it all the way through. I take the gloves, I go like this, and at least the whole head, it don't get double coverage. Like I'm not coloring the whole head again. I try my best next time just to keep it to the root, like that much, like halfway. So it does keep your hair healthier. I won't do this until probably December, but I am going to go a shade lighter. I mix two colors. I will be mixing dark beige blonde with 
beige blonde or light beige blonde. I have to see when I put the strands together. It's called the beauty store. <laughs> and, you know, I'll feel it out. But I definitely will be on the lighter side instead of the darker side. And when you're mixing your colors, <clears throat> I put the color to one. Usually I put peroxide to one. And then I, then I add an ounce of color. I mix two colors. But then I make sure the peroxide goes up to number three. Like with the color and the peroxide, I have it up to number three. You have to, I believe, double the amount of peroxide compared to your color for it to lift or to cover. Or I should say cover your gray or your 20 roots. minutes, I'm getting nervous. So let's do this. Let me get in the shower. Holy moly, look at that. Woo! <laughs> Stay tuned. I'm going to show this part of it. I do have a towel on, just so you know. You see more at the beach. But you see, that's why I used a smaller crocheting needle on top. For some reason, you can see it's really blonde. But now I'm going to turn so you can see it all. Looks really good. The back came out good. I was very concerned with the back. Because when I do this, I rarely lift it enough because the back is so much darker. That's why I used a larger crocheting needle. I was very, I used the mirror. I was like, what spots did I miss? What spots? This came out really nice. A little too light right now. Here's the finished product. It came out very blonde. And a lot of the dark, the, the hair underneath that's really dark, it's different shades. However, Next week, I'm going to go for professional reshaping. It's going to look great. I'm going to ask him to put some layers into it again, but at least they'll be longer and it'll be reshaped. This was very hard for me to get my hair just to stay like this. But this week, it's supposed to be super hot. It's going to be up in a ponytail and a headband anyway. But I'm going to do the turnaround. So the back's still kind of wet, just so you know. The back's still kind of wet. And on the very bottom of the back, you see the two-tone because I stopped the oxidation, the bleaching action underneath on the very bottom. But that's going to be cut off next week. Like I said, my hair is going to be in a ponytail headband for the rest of the week because it's so humid here in Long Island. I, I wouldn't be able to work. So here we go. It's really not bad. It is still a little damp, just so you know. And it's very sticky back here. Very misty. <laughs> But not so bad. I like it. But it's ready. I'm, I'm due for a professional reshaping. So I'm going to do that next week. I do like the blonde. I think it's going to look much better. If you really look close, you see the two tones, the different tones of... Not all the hair went up to seven levels. I'm not sure if it went up to seven levels because I got nervous and I ran in the shower. But it's going to look great after a fresh cut next week. A few weeks from now, maybe four weeks, like I said, just do the roots with the beige blonde and uh, dark beige blonde and regular beige blonde, I think. It's going gonna, it's gonna to grow into something really nice, but I needed to get that initial shaka over, and I don't hate it. It's going to look really nice. It's going to look good. I like it. I've been blonde before. So until the next one.